Hi everybody, Timmy Mix here and today I want to show you a very fast way to create a look or finish a look after the intro. Today I want to show you very fast and easy way to create a look or finish a look. You can use this technique as you like. In the following technique we will use an overlay blend mode. So just to help you to understand why this technique works for this case, you should know that the blend mode overlay combines the multiplier and the screen blend modes. The parts of the top layer where the base layer is light become lighter, the parts where the base layer is dark become darker. The areas where the top layer are mid gray are unaffected and that's really interesting too an overlay with the same picture looks like an s curve okay enough of this theoretical stuff here you can see a look i've created with a 2k clip from scratch and it looks okay so far but not really finished so what i normally do is to adjust my contrast partly a bit more in some areas by using some curve adjustments but sometimes i use the following technique which i want to share with you first i push these two nodes here which are for sharpening and film grain a bit farther away to get more space. Then I create a Zaria node and add two layer nodes so that we achieve a three layer mixer node stack. I leave the most upper node untouched and on the second node in this stack I decrease the saturation to around something like this, maybe 15 or 16, something like that. Then I increase the contrast to around 1.26 or maybe a bit less something like that and yeah it is okay and adjust my pivot too to around 30.35 or better 0.36 okay this looks okay. Okay, and here's the trick. Just switch the composite mode of the layer mixer node to overlay. In my case, the effect is a bit too much. So I bring down the gain of the key output to around 0.8 or something like this. And you can adjust the effect very efficiently on the key output. This works mostly very well. Now I lift up the exposure a bit here on this second layer node to adjust the tones above 50% gray and under 50% gray. So with the offset, you can adjust this node to your needs. In my case, something around 35 looks fine. Now I disconnect my last node of this stack and remove one input from the layer mixer node so that this last node passes by the layer mixer nodes. I leave it as it is for this moment and now I create an HSL selection for the skin on this node here. Uh, very roughly, just for demonstration, the reason for that is I want to Final adjust the skin separately so you can skip this step if you want. Okay, a bit denoise, and that's okay so far. Now, after my layer mixer stack, I create another serial node and a parallel node. Now, I grab this little blue guy here, which is my selection, or better, my selection as mask output, and connect it to these two parallel nodes. On the upper parallel node, I invert the key so that we now can adjust all outside of this key, in this case, the background. In my case here, I want to bring back a bit of the blue from the background. And now I push my curves a bit, just to bring back this bluish background, just using the curves, something like that and please don't use the offset for this it will destroy your black point okay looks good so far then i bring in more blue just by increasing my color boost instead of the saturation to around no no it's too much something like this looks better okay what 
do you think? I guess that fits my taste for this look reasonably. By the way, you may think, damn, how far pushed him the curse. Trust me, if you use this technique, you have to push it a bit further than usual. You should look at your highlights if you do this. Look at this. If I turn this note on and off, just look at the highlights. Again, on and off. Can you see this? Otherwise, if you don't want to overdo this a bit, you can readjust the offset of the second layer node here. You have to balance it out because if you push the offset to fall, the skin in my case will be affected too much. So it's just as always a question of the balance. Okay. On the other parallel node, which is for the skin, I will use the curves again. Just be sure editable splines are activated, just like before. And then I lift my shadow a bit until the roll off looks a bit smoother, just to take off the harshness a bit. And then lowering the highlights, something like that. In other words, I decrease the contrast on this note here, but with the curves. Okay, this looks good. That's it. And here the before and after. And in general, we created a total new look based on something like a base look because all I did before was adjusting color, skin tones, foreground and background a bit more and bring it to the zones but keeping it a bit, let's say flat, but just pushing the contrast would give you not such results. Okay, we are done now. I hope I could help you in your color grading a bit by creating a look or finishing a look. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and listening. You are all a great time. Bye.